In this session, the topic is ambiguity in context-free grammar. See, definition: a terminal string W, which belongs to L of G, is ambiguous if there exists two or more derivation trees for W, or there exists two or more leftmost derivations of W. That means for the same W which belongs to L of G, language of the grammar, we are having more than one derivation trees. And if it is so, then we can say that the grammar is ambiguous. A CFG G is ambiguous if there exists some W belongs to L of G which is ambiguous. So if we find such W which is ambiguous, then the grammar itself will become ambiguous. To have a better understanding on this particular ambiguity in context-free grammar, let us discuss this particular problem. Show that the grammar G, so production rules are given, is ambiguous. So it has been, it has to be proved. Okay, I'm just putting the production numbers. Okay, so we are having production five productions we are having. Let us consider one W A B A B. So this W has to be considered from your end. You should have to find one W for which you can have more than one type of derivation trees or derivations. Okay, I have taken the string A B A B. I have taken the string which has two different derivations. Let us see. So at first I am starting with this S. So S produces. A A B. That means which production rule I have used? Three. So by production rule number three, and here I am considering leftmost. So from the left hand side, the first non-terminal head is A. So now this particular A has been replaced by B S. So A produces B S is by production rule number four, and that A S has been replaced by A. So here the leftmost. Leftmost non-terminal here is S, so that will be replaced by A. So by production rule number one. So ultimately, I am getting this string A A sorry A B A B. So that string I have got. So if you do the re respective derivation tree here, it will be S produces A A B. S produces A A B. This A produces B S. This A will produce B S, and this S will produce A. So S will produce A. So if you go for the yield, you are getting A B A B. So that is my this part. Now please come to this. And here each and every case I have used leftmost derivation. Okay, now S produces A B S B. So by production rule number two, I am just applying that one at first. So S produces A B S B. Now from the left hand side we are having this one as the non-terminal. So that S has been replaced by A. So by production rule number one, I'm going to get the same string. That is A B A B. I'm going to get the same string A B A B, which was there here. So now see, there is a respective derivation tree, and these two trees are different, obviously, because the grammar is ambiguous. Why? Because we got one string W belongs to L of G, for which we are having two different. Derivations, at respective derivation trees, so that's why the string is ambiguous. And as this grammar is accepting such string, so in turn, the grammar will be ambiguous. So thus, in this way, we have solved this particular problem. I think you are getting the logic. What is ambiguity? When a string will become ambiguous, when the grammar will become ambiguous, and the respective problem solved. Thanks for watching this video.